Steam VR 2.0 just dropped and I got out of bed just so I could check it out. The official version is the Steam VR Beta 2.0.1 and this really feels like the beginning of something great. The only noticeable changes right away here are the UI design is completely overhauled to have a lot more parity between what you see on the Steam desktop client versus what you see in VR. You get a lot of the same options that are now easily accessible within VR that you would typically do on desktop, like a home page. You can see the store. You can see what deals are going on. You can take a look at your friends and your chat. You can take a look at any screenshots you had, downloads you have going on. Go into your actual Steam settings as well as your Steam VR settings. On the update page, Steam says, we see this as the first major step toward our goal of bringing all of what's new on the Steam platform into VR, which means they have a lot more already going on that is coming soon. And in order to be a part of this beta and check it out, you actually have to opt into both the Steam client beta as well as the Steam VR beta. I cannot begin to say how excited I am about this. It's been years since there's been a major change to Steam VR like this. And it just feels like the start of something incredibly exciting. I'm still holding out for Valve to announce their next VR headset, and this just makes me feel like it's ramping up to that. But maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. And I could just be riding a high right now here, but things also felt like they just performed better, both when I was just hanging around in the interface and I jumped into a quick game of Pavlov just to try it out, and uh, just things felt smoother like I was getting more frames and I took a quick look at my VRAM and GPU percentages and they were sitting around like 70 to 80 when I was in game where typically I've seen it around 90%. So I think it's possible here that the UI changes have resulted in better performance in VR overall. But I'll have to do a lot more testing to really confirm that. And I want to know people's theories and what they think is happening now with Steam VR and PC VR in general. So let me know in the comments what you think is going to happen next. And I do think there's some humor here in the fact that Steam is doing these things and creating all this excitement the same week that Meta Connect is going on. But only time can really tell what's going to happen here. I know I'm just going to be going crazy for the next few months until more announcements come out, but I think it's going to be an awesome end of the year for VR. Cheers, and we'll see you out there.